Hello. Thank you for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Today, I wanted to make this video to share with you insights on three tickers that I think will add significant value to your investment portfolio. But first, before I begin, I'd like to inform you that the information I'm sharing with you should be used as guidance information only. And anytime when you make an investment decision, please do your own investment research. Now let's get started. So these three companies, I wanted to focus on Nokia by the ticker NOK, Afria by the ticker APHA, and the last ticker is YRCW, which is a fright business. Now, let's get started with ticker number one with uh, Nokia. Now, what's so unique about Nokia? You know, I this company has been around for many years now as you can see we're looking at the whole date range of this ticker and back in 1994 the share price was a dollar as you can see here year 2000 20 years ago the share price was 56 dollars this was when the company was doing really well being able to sell a lot of hardware equipment such as nokia phones and headsets a lot of hardware based material as you can see the share price dropped down but it began to increase up from around 2007 where it hovered up to like $38 but what was the cause of this well we know there was the economic recession back in 2008 but what really was the burning platform for Nokia was the fact that Apple released its new operating system iOS in 2008 and that really took out Nokia in terms of product characteristics because everyone wanted to get onto Apple because of the features it had and the way that the products worked with one another the ecosystem that it created so overall people just didn't really like the use of Nokia phones and for that reason the share price just plummeted however currently I feel like the fact that there has been strategic changes with this company where they are now switching over from focusing on hardware and now more so on the software side of things focusing on establishing their telecommunications for the 5G I think that's a great start and one other big downfall with the company was the fact that their business infrastructure was too focused in the European markets for example setting up infrastructure in Finland and really focusing the marketing and sales in the European markets while there could have been additional sales made from revenue and profit in different countries like in the United States and in the Asian countries so I feel like Nokia has learned throughout those years and now they are positioned to start uh, doing well at least to start climbing back to where they were in terms of its share price now let's take a look at a one-year trend chart here as you can see back in March the share price was hovering at two dollars and sixty six cents and now it's been consistently churning up close to the five dollar range at, at one point it hovered around the five dollars back in early, early August but to me I firmly believe that this share price can go by double by possibly end of year or headway into the Q1 but this is a great buying opportunity to think in terms of long-term investment for you to park your money in and gain on you know double on your proceeds so if you park your money in now at five dollars you sell at ten or twelve dollars you're gaining fifty sixty percent right there so that's one ticker that I feel is a very safe bet although it may take some time for it to grow but hey at least you're gaining instead of losing so that's the benefit of investing in Nokia but I firmly believe they're turning around it's positioned well and there's new uh, there's new structural changes going on like for example there's a new CEO in place so I'm sure with the new CEO's direction the company will be headed in the right path now let's go towards the next ticker here I wanted to share with you and that is Afria by the ticker APHA so what is Afria and what do they do? Afria is a cannabis company that is headquartered in Canada where they have different facilities not only in Canada but all around the world in Europe, in Brazil, United States so they've planted seeds all over the place and not only do they focus on recreational production but also for medical use production and 
I foresee that the fact that there's so much demand right now in California, which is the green market and just seeing how much people are spending on this sector, I feel like companies like Afria will benefit from this because they're one of the top companies producing the highest quality products in Canada. So for those reasons, I feel like this company will likely get to its prior resistance value. As you can see here, we're looking at a one year trend chart. Back in 2019 of September, share price was hovering at $7. And about March of 2020 this year, it went down to $2.25. That was a great buying opportunity. But to me here now, at $4.69, while it's been trending up, it's still a good buying opportunity as well because I firmly believe that it's, this market is getting more hype right now and it will start increasing. Let's look at the five minute five-year trend chart so at one point it hovered over around fourteen dollars and fourteen point seven five now it's in the single digit so that's a great buying opportunity and you never know it may pop up twofold threefold and Afria is one company not to be ignored especially if you're thinking about investing in a cannabis company this is a great company to to consider now I'm going to focus over to the next ticker and that's YRCW. Okay, so what do they do? So think of them as another FedEx or Amazon delivery, UPS type of delivery uh, service. They've been around for a very long time and when Amazon came out, UPS, FedEx came out, the demand for YRCW began to drop. However, I feel like the fact that this COVID-19 pandemic kicked in the share price of YRCW started going back up again, so demand has increased, at least for this company. So that's a good thing where the business is turning around. But from a share price perspective, from a value perspective in terms of investment, look here, back in June it was only $1.61. Now it's hovered all the way up close to $5, and it's went back down to $4.34. Now looking at the five-year trend chart, back in January 2018, Share price was uh, close to $16, and about five years ago it was $18. So how much potential can this share price or this ticker go up in terms of its uh, share price? I firmly believe potentially double digits, possibly. We just don't know when, but that can come possibly uh, Q4 of this year. So these are the three tickers I wanted to share with you for, for this Sunday, and I hope that you found this video valuable. And thank you so much for your time and effort in watching this video. And if you found this video valuable, please do hit the like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to make more content uh, for you. Thanks so much for watching another episode at Investing with All I See is W. Thank you.